Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from beautiful Phuket, Thailand. Today we're gonna do a very special trip. We're gonna go to one of the most famous islands here in the area and actually it's in the region of Panga, not necessarily Phuket. We're gonna take a boat from here from Phuket and we're gonna go to Panga and we're gonna visit James Bond Island. No James Bond, not Thailand. <laughs> Our adventure starts at the Royal Phuket Marina. The tour company we chose does have a van pickup available where they can pick you up straight for your hotel. But we decided to drive there ourselves since we had our car. And welcome to the Royal Phuket Marina. It's a beautiful place full of really nice yachts. This is gonna be the start point of our epic adventure today. I actually spoke to the guy when we checked in and there's only 26 people and the speedboat is made for 47. So there's gonna be plenty of space for everybody. I'm really happy that it's not like fully packed and it should be an amazing day. The company that we're using is called amazingkayaking.com and the way I found them is actually initially I found them on TripAdvisor. Now the price on TripAdvisor was $129 a person, which is about 4,500 baht. And I actually went to their website and I found this excursion for only 2,800 baht. Now their high season prices are actually 3,800. But if you go directly to their website and you can see their name in the TripAdvisor description, it says Amazing Kayaking, James Bond Island by Speedboat. I just Googled that. I found their website. I booked that on there and saved about 50%. Top tip for everybody. And 40 minutes later we are here in Panga area. So this is a whole region of Thailand. And the first island that we're visiting is actually the biggest island here. It's called Panak Island. And Panak Island has five to six caves. And we're gonna visit one of them. This is the only one that is not underwater. We are during the full moon and very high tide. So most of them are underwater. This one is the only one that's visitable. So it's going to be very crowded because everybody's going to come to this one. Okay, so this cave is not for very tall people. I'm fine. <laughs> not even Christina fits well. Well, you're fine here, but look over there. Oof. It's a good thing we got this little white helmets. Mind your head. This cave was pretty short cramped and very crowded since it was the only one that was accessible due to the high tides. Pretty cool activity since it was already on the way to James Bond Island. So at the end of the cave you have this little nook where you can look outside and you see the rest of the bay. And this is it. I'm just gonna turn around and go back to the boat. So Panak Island in Thai roughly translates to as a place to live, a place where people are staying. And the reason why they call it that is because a clan from Indonesia actually came to live here and they were staying living in these caves. Now, there is a law in Thailand that says that you're not allowed to evict somebody from the place they were staying before finding them another place. So actually the Thai government found a place for them and they established a village and all of the people that were living in these caves around moved there. So we're gonna go visit that village today and we're gonna see what it became. And now they're all Thai citizens and everything, but interesting how people used to live here and now they established the whole community. A little 
of it 10 minutes later here on the fast boat we arrived at Tau Island and this is where we're gonna do the canoeing part of the trip there's a big pontoon here and there, it's actually a guided trip so we have guides paddling we don't even have to paddle ourselves so really cool So this pontoon actually has restaurants and even a little shop. It's nice and spacious where we're boarding the canoes. Really cool. friendly guide here his name is boy say hello, hello. <laughs> this island called talu it basically means a passage through the mountain so there's going to be an area where we actually have to squeeze through especially now that it's high tide it's going to be very very narrow and we just squeeze through it and that's why it's got its name called talu very beautiful mangrove forest and the typical hanga bay big mountain next to the water. The water is not very clear, my friend. What do you think about the water? It's kind of murky, not clean. Yes, in no time, uh, be island, be island water, beautiful. Wait, we have to squeeze through there? Uh, wow. No way. It's like in Lagos. It's the same thing in Lagos. Remember? Yeah. Wow. Wow, my God. Wow, my God. You lay down no hand, okay? No hand. No hand, no hand. Mind your head. Wow. Look like elephant. You know? Elephant. Chang. No be a shark. No. Wow. America. You guys are cheating, you're gonna get a chicken. Oh. So they have a, some fish here, they call them walking fish and they seem to live mostly outside the water somehow. And look at them, there's two babies there. Very interesting. It's like a frog or is it a fish or a frog? Man, it's a man, no big size walking fish. No, it's a mountain, mountain time. Baby size walking fish. Baby, baby size. This is the famous cave from which the island got its name. This is the cave passage. It's very, very big. Right now the water level is pretty high. Um, our guide said that the water is about 10 meters deep now, but if we come later on when the water level goes very, very low, it could be as low as one meter deep. So this was a pretty cool trip with the canoe in the mangroves. I didn't expect it to be actually guided. So we had, you know, we had our guide explaining everything and he was paddling too, which was cool because I could film. Amazing. Uh, apparently these guys don't make a lot of money. So make sure if you do this, you do bring a tip with you, 100, 200 baht, whatever you want to leave them, they always appreciate it. And now we're going to go to the next island and we're going to go have some lunch. Now we're arriving at Pani village. This is the village where the Indonesian people moved after the, they got uh, moved from their cave. And we're also gonna have lunch here. 
There's a restaurant, actually there's many restaurants, but this one that we're going to has an all-you-can-eat buffet. So Pani means flag in Indonesia, and that's because when they came here, they put a flag all the way up there on top of the mountain. So it was basically known as the village with the flag. And it's quite big. This is just the restaurant part, but as we're gonna finish eating, we're gonna go explore around this beautiful village. So lunch consists of stir fried vegetables, fried chicken, some pad thai, fried rice, and sweet and sour fish. There's also steamed rice and some tom yam available. And also comes with a beautiful view. Lunch was great and uh, now after we finish there are a couple of shops here if you need to do some shoppings get some souvenirs and we're also going to go explore the village a little bit maybe we can find a nice spot to put out the drone as well because uh, this little village looks quite interesting from above their main occupation of the men is fishing and carrying tourists around on the boats and the ladies have these souvenir shops. Pretty much every house has one. So I guess that's their main occupation, selling the beautiful souvenirs. shots from up there are amazing love it and now we're gonna head back to the boat our little trip here in the village is done and uh, we're gonna go to the main attraction of this entire adventure which is James Bond Island So we got 30 minutes here on James Bond Island, probably one of the most famous islands here in Panga. And this is where they shot the famous James Bond movie in the 1970s, The Man with the Golden Gun. And we're actually heading to the beach where they shot the scene to take a look at it. So the original name of the island is called Kao Tapu. And that was the famous beach where they shot the man with the golden gun this is the scene from the movie and that is the famous rock in the water there looks really cool i did hear that it's kind of getting eroded so they're trying to prevent it from falling down somehow to preserve the tourist industry of course because everybody comes here to see this and the little beach right next to it Quite a few people here, although we came a little bit later in the afternoon when the vast majority of the tourists left, but it's still pretty crowded. And there's gift shops here and also some cool caves to explore. Let's go check them out. So we got this big mountain over here with the cave. And then right next to it looks like a straight rock. How did nature do that? It looks like the rock was sliced in half and then he kind of fell over and leaned on this mountain. 
I don't understand the shape, look at it, incredible. So apparently it's not really a cave, it's more just you get across to the other side of this little island, kind of narrow here and low, so mind your head. And you just get to the other side of this bay. So impressions on James Bond Island, very cool place. All the activities here are nice, you can walk around. There's a couple of other caves that we didn't get a chance to see, or I'm not sure exactly if they're caves, more like going through the mountain. Especially if you're a fan of James Bond, really nice area to check out on one of these island hopping tours. So next stop, we're gonna go to a beach to swim. And then after that, there's gonna be a bar. So it's gonna be more relaxation going on. The first half of the day is more go, go, go. And now it's gonna be more relaxing and that's gonna be it. So the final stop for today is here on Naka Island. And after this, we're gonna go back to the dock. We got about an hour and a half to spend here and we're gonna go swimming as well. The water is a lot cleaner in this area. There are quite a few people here, but there's also a lot of space. The beach is large people playing some beach football and yeah there's bars here restrooms pretty much everything so there's many things to do on this island there's also jet skis and parasail and a couple of other activities for me i'm just gonna hang out here on this chair i order a fresh cold coconut just gonna enjoy the rest of the day probably gonna go swimming in a little bit but that's it we're gonna end the video here thank you very much for watching and as always stay safe be nice to each other and i'll see you again in the next one